Here is part of the build that I've been looking forward to. It's upgrading the passenger seat from a fixed seat to a swiveled seat. And we've had the seat out a couple of times because we've put the uh, front floor mat in and changed all that. So getting it out is gonna be pretty easy. It's just simply four bolts. And then you pull it straight out. So we're gonna go ahead and use a socket and pull that seat right on out. Okay, we've got the seat pulled. We've got it sitting here on the table so that we'll have access to getting all those nuts off. And where I got this swivel was from a place on the internet called Amazing Auto LLC. And it was $199 and $35 shipping. And this bad boy is heavy and it's DOT approved. It's not like the cheap ones that are made for a tractor. This is a, you know, DOT approved to actually go down the road. So that's a good thing. Okay, so what we've got to do is come in here and get these taken off. couple of them broke free. So basically the swivel is going to sit on top of this and then we'll fasten it to the seat. Bad boy is heavy. Amazing Auto LLC. If I can, I'll put a link in the description. Now, something that's really important. See how this is offset to one side? If it was in the middle, it wouldn't be able to clear the A post and the door itself. So it's designed to come over this way and swivel from the, outs from, from the inside of the vehicle to miss everything. So it's very important that you uh, put it on that way. All right, a little trick that makes things a whole lot easier is to swivel it so you've got access to these and allow you to be able to use a ratchet. One more thing that I need to mention is that it does come with all the hardware to do this. So that's really nice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go around to the four of them and snug them down, and then I'll finish tightening them. So next, we just set the seat onto the swivel, and we use the bolts and tighten it down. This has really come together better than I thought it was going to. So, you know, that's really nice. That, this whole thing is, has been pretty nice. The truth will be after we get it installed and see how easy it does. So, anyway, we'll see you in the van. Put the seat back in, set it right back in place. It is a little taller. But once again, all I have to do is come back in here and put these nuts back on and tighten them down. All right, the moment of truth. 
The main thing is it still does all of this. My understanding is you're supposed to scoot it up some, okay, and then you pull the seat up some, and then you just spin it. I don't know if it's best to spin it while you're in it or not. Probably not. All right. That's okay. And it has some adjustments, evidently. <laughs> Look at that. Get the seat back to where I want it. And then to get even more room. How's that? That was relatively smooth and easy. I was quite impressed. Of course, I had some good help there with, from Robert. But this was a good day. Getting this seat in here opens this up tremendously. It'll be a great place to sit back, relax, and have a cup of coffee in the morning, prop my feet up in the evening and watch some YouTube. This is well worth it. $199 plus $35 shipping online. Yes, sir. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We'd appreciate it. Later.